Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro and welcome to our install video. So here you can see the artist pad, which is what most people want to jump into right away. So how do you get this and how do you get installed and working as quick as possible? We're going to go through that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on desktop installer. Click here, it'll run you through a couple prompts after you download the installer. And then when you're done, you're going to see this little mouse icon right here. We're going to right click on the mouse icon and choose artist pad. Now yours will look like this. We're going to make it look like the ones in the video. So click on the hamburger menu, choose settings. We're going to choose docking. And we're going to uncheck allow some simultaneous pen and touch on both of these. All right, so let's go ahead and click apply. You can see we're getting close. Now, instead of using load preset here, we're going to use over here just because I think this is a more practical menu. Choose layout, load preset, and we're going to find Photoshop CC. Click open, apply, and you can see it right here. So you're all set. You should be able to, at this point, use the artist pad, interact with Photoshop, interact with the different programs as you want. Uh, in order to customize it, we have another step. The next link that we have is the Tablet Pro Manager. Go ahead and click on this link. It's going to bring you to the store page. So click the blue install button and download. When you get the Windows Store app installed, you can press the Windows key. You can find it over in T for Tablet Pro Manager. Go ahead and click on that. And that's going to bring you to this screen. Here's the layout editor. If you use this, it's going to open a brand new layout, not one that you have currently open. That would be done by choosing Layout and Edit Layout. If you want to purchase, purchase can be done right here. You'll see I already have mine purchased. This purchase includes the Tablet Pro Manager as well as the Tablet Pro Desktop. So you click, right click, choose About, and then we're going to choose Activate Upgrade by Store App. All right, and it's going to look right here. It looked. Now here, you can see not activated. Right here it says not activated. And we're going to go ahead and close this. And now you can see it says all features activated. All right, this is the trickiest part right here, so pay close attention. If you go here and you click on the Tablet Pro Store Manager and open a layout and create it here, you're not going to see it here. These are separate files. So in order to see this one, when you save it, you need to load it. That means clicking here, choose layout, load preset, and finding the file that you have over here. Okay, now, if you want to edit the file that's currently open, choose layout, edit, and you're gonna see the one that you just had is gonna be available for you to edit immediately. You can edit it by clicking on the buttons, choosing different icons, and adding modifiers like plus one second, which helps out if you have a button that's not working the way that you want. All right, we are at the very last part, so go ahead and click on the link for the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. It's gonna bring you to the Windows Store app. You can choose Install, or right over here, there's an option to install a free trial to make sure it works for your computer. In order to open that up, we're going to go to the Start menu, find Tablet Pro Pen Tool over here, or over here if you added it to the Start menu. That's going to put a little icon right here or in this little task tray. You're going to double click to open it up. You can either tap in the input field and add your uh, the hotkey that you want to add. Double click to set that to none or use the drop down to select one of the options. Uh, here make sure that your Bluetooth eraser is paired to the computer. It is not by default. So check your Bluetooth settings. Uh, there's also a couple of troubleshooting tips. You can check the uh, help menu here. Go ahead and click apply and go ahead and close it and you are ready to go. This works great in Photoshop, ZBrush, and just about any program. I typically keep my map to undo, which I find really helpful. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out Tablet Pro. Please feel free to reach out to me at justice at tabletpro.com. I'm happy to help. And again, thank you.